Good morning, artists. Today, we are going to work on one of my favorite projects, and that is making monsters. So here's an example of what our artwork might look like in the end. Um, there are so many possibilities with this drawing, um, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Let me first show you what inspired this project. So I'm just going to scoot this to the side. This was one of my favorite books that I used to read to my boys. It's called Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberly. And what I love about this book is it shows you that monsters are really just made of lines, shapes, and colors. I'm going to share it with you today to show you what I mean. So, again, Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberly. And I'm going to do my best to show you all the amazing pictures in this book. Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes, <clears throat> a long bluish greenish nose, a big red mouth with sharp white teeth, two little squiggly ears scraggly purple hair, and a big scary green face. But you don't scare me, so go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, two little squiggly ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big green face. <clears throat> go away, excuse me, <clears throat> go away, big red mouth, go away, sharp white teeth, go away, two big yellow eyes, go away, big green monster, and don't come back until I say so. The end. Now again, what I love about that book is that it really does show you that monsters are simply a collection of lines, shapes, and colors. So here's another example of what our monster might look like. I've got a couple more that I'll share with you just to give you some inspiration. These were all created with my students um, choosing different parts to add together to create these silly creatures. Some of them look a little scary, and some of them look maybe, this guy looks a little bit sleepy to me. And then here's another right there. All right, so let's get started on our own monsters today. You will need a piece of your thick white paper um, because eventually we'll be painting these. Uh, we're gonna start out today just in pencil though, and I'm gonna hold my paper the long way today, or the tall way, um, and then you'll need a pencil, okay? Now, when I work with my students in class, I like to work from some examples of monsters. So what I did was to collect a couple of different um, images that I found that I really liked. So what we're gonna do first, like we do with all animals, or all main drawings really, is to start with the main shape. So think about what the main shape of your monster might be. What is the largest shape it's the body. So we're gonna start, start out with the body. And I kinda like this one right here, so I think I'm gonna model my drawing after this one today, but I'll add different parts from different monsters. So if I take a look at this artwork, his body really looks kinda circular, but I also notice it's kinda furry. So I'm gonna do that at the same time, and I'm also gonna leave a spot for this big eye, okay? So I'm gonna start right here at the top of my paper, <clears throat> and again, you can choose a different shape for your monster. It doesn't have to look just like mine. So that's where his little eye is gonna go. And now here comes his body shape. So I'm gonna make it kind of have a rough edge so it looks like he is hairy. Kind of a zigzaggy line. There it is, all right. Now next, I'm gonna go through and look and see what 
legs and feet I like in these pictures. And each of them is a little bit different. <clears throat> oh, I kind of like the way that these legs are. So I think I'm gonna try to draw these. So I'm gonna make two lines coming down and then kind of an oval for the foot. So I'm gonna push this up so you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna make a line here and a line here and then just an oval for the foot. And I, I'll do the same thing on this side. So line down, line down, and then an oval. And I'm gonna try to make it about the same size using my eraser if I need to. Same size on the other side. There we go. Now, he's got legs, he's got a body. I'm thinking arms might be the best thing to add next. So I'm just gonna look through until I see a set of arms that I think are pretty cool. Oh, I kind of like these arms right here. Um, let's see if we have room for that. So I'm gonna come over to this side and looking at my drawing here, well, I guess I can't. Maybe I'll sneak it under my piece of paper. Um, if you look at his arms, it kind of curves over. So it comes down like this and then is kind of wide and then goes back up. But the coolest thing I think are these claws. We've got one, two, three claws right there. And now I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna come over here and do the same thing. So I'm going to start it about at the same spot, maybe right about here. Here comes his arm out, round, and then back up. And then one, two, three, again. That one was a little bit bigger than the other side, but that's okay. Now, another thing that I really like about his arms here is that they have zigzag stripes on them. So I think I'm gonna do that too. So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna make zigzag, 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 and then do the same thing on the other side. It's just kind of a cool detail that they added in here that makes it look more interesting. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed they do two separate ones. So I'm gonna do that too. All right, now he has really cool looking arms. Awesome. Okay, now that he has arms and legs and a body shape, I think it's time to add that eye back. So I'm gonna go back to the very first one and I love the way that they did this nice big eye. So I'm gonna draw a circle right up here at the top. I'm gonna make it nice and round. And then I'm gonna make another circle inside that. And then, you know what they do? They leave a little shiny spot to make it look like it's a real eye. So I'm gonna leave that too so I remember to color it that way. Now, think about what he's missing. If you said a mouth, you would be right. You could also add a nose if you want. I think I'm just gonna work on the mouth. I really think this one's hilarious right here, the big open wide one. But let's take a look at some of the other ones and see if there's another one, hmm. Now you get to decide what your mouth looks like. I think I am gonna go back to, let's see. Oh boy, I kinda like this mouth right here. So I'm gonna go back and draw that. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll sneak that under the paper. Now this shape right here looks a little bit like an oval almost looks like a bean shape or a jelly bean if you wanna think about it that way. So I'm gonna make my mouth go down here and then curve up and then come down kind of like that. Now again, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I'm also gonna add his two pointy teeth, one here and one here, triangles. And then I see that they show the tongue in there too. So I think I'll add that in cause it's kind of fun. All right, I love that. Now. When I take a look back at some of these, I also noticed that they added some other details like these um, antennae right here or horns or even a little patch of hair. So it's kind of fun to think about the possibilities. You might even wanna add ears. I think I'm gonna add, ooh, I really like those horns that kind of curl down. So I think I'm gonna add those to my artwork now. All right, so. Here he is, and I'm going to make a curling line this way, and then another line that follows the same path but then comes to a point. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Curling line, 
curling line comes to a point. Now these have a polka dotted pattern on it. I think I'd like to make mine striped. So I'm just gonna make lines that come down my horns here. Just like that. Oh my gosh, I'm really liking it. And you know what? I think I'm gonna make eyelashes. I think that would be kind of fun to have eyelashes on the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe there's even eyelashes down here too. I think that'd be kind of fun. All right, and it seems like his legs need a pattern. So I think I'm gonna make his legs polka dotted to make him look even sillier. All right, now, there is my monster. Now, if there are more things that you wanna add, like these have spots actually on the body. Um, there's some right there as well. If there are more features that you wanna add to your artwork, feel free to keep on going. I think my monster is done for today. Um, so I am just going to work on tracing. You can either trace with a dark crayon or a um, black marker maybe, um, and trace all of your lines so it's ready for our next step next week. All right, I'm gonna get busy with my tracing right now using a Sharpie, and I'm gonna leave you there next week. I will see you again, and we will talk about adding color. All right, have a great day, everyone.